Hey, Jarvis done here. Just kidding. He's even getting the sunflowers. He was so excited. Deli is picking the rose petals from the ground. She likes to make little flower pressings. Two sweet little barefoot garden kids. I couldn't ask for more. We are so very blessed. These tiny little moments. I love it. <laughs> Look at it. And I need to take care of this accumulation of junk that seems to happen every day. My gosh, over here, look at the dishes. Ridiculous, I skipped one day that all of this situation. So first floor, clean with me. What else do we have? Yeah, the kids room, not too bad. This could use some cleanup. Top of that's already a mess. My goodness, oh, I need to get it together. So let's go, here's some motivation. Okay, that was a lot of dishes, but at least I got that done, got the big things washed, and need to take things out to the chickens, but I need to take supplements, so I'm making a quick little egg situation. So I am doing a duck egg, a chicken egg, avocado, a little bit of cheese, grass-fed butter, and this lone green onion, and I don't know, I'm just gonna make a quick little omelet and then go from there because I need to take, what am I taking over here? The usual, the lineup. This this link is always in my description box. Someone asked me. It's it's always down there. Uh, the code is Tori10 though, so you can get 10% off. Plus, when you bundle, you get like 25% off, which is incredible. So I get all of these for under $50. But beef liver for my multivitamin, chlorella for detoxing of parasites, mushroom immunity for all of that good immunity. It's like nature's day cool, so perfect during allergy season. And then I'm gonna make some happy juice. Okay, I can hear Millie stirring up there. Oh, now she's crying. I'm gonna turn off the camera, but getting breakfast done and uh, I'm gonna go grab her. Okay, she's all right. I did some of the tri blend beans. I did cheddar cheese, grass-fed butter, duck eggs and then avocado tomato for me. And I've also been freezing like little Go-Gurts or not Go-Gurts, what are they? The Stonyfield Organics. Yeah, Stonyfield Organics uh, yogurt. Ha, huh. ha. Huh. So it feels better on your teeth. Uh, but I've also been doing the chamomile and um, why can't I think of it? Oh, lemon balm and chamomile popsicles for her. Just like little ice cubes that she can chew on through a, like one of those mesh sleeves, if that makes sense. I'm out of sorts. I really got to eat something here. I'm at that point in motherhood where I need to eat or all else fails. But uh, after I eat, I'm going to clean this up. <laughs> Okay, that was delicious and needed. So in here I have three beef liver and pretty wrinkly hands. Man, that's humbling. Uh, chlorella and mushroom immunity. And then on the, those eggs are in my shot. Uh, and then I have Mood Plus right here. This has been a game changer in my motherhood journey. It has not affected my breast milk as um, from what I see. I'm a little shaky, sorry. Uh, but has some pretty amazing active ingredients in there if you can read it there sometimes i get flagged for uh reading natural supplements but i take one capsule now and one capsule later it's amazing if you're interested in any amari products that would be my go-to but of course combined with happy juice has really just helped my overall mood um, drastically so i'm gonna take this millie's gonna finish up on her upside down little popsicle there and we're gonna get going on with our day. Hey there, I'm going to uh, show you my little hair curling tutorial where I have a chance to talk to you. So I took a shower last night and the time in between her wake period, no, you know what I mean. When she was sleeping, I took a shower and uh, I let my hair air dry as much as I could while I was editing. I admittedly don't go to bed on time. I just I can keep making excuses, but I do a lot of like the social media world uh, after hours and I get everything set up. So I've had questions about that, like you didn't answer me in time, all this other stuff, um, you know, and it's not everyone, so I get it. But most of what I post is already set up the night before, so I'm not actively posting. And I've noticed people say like, hey, you're on, it says that you're on Facebook or it says that you're on Instagram. I don't know how it tells that. I think it's a little dot, but most of the time I'm not like actively in my uh, 
DMs, if that makes sense. So if it takes me a little bit of time to answer you, I do apologize. I try and be uh, pretty good with that. So I wanted to say that, but I, most of what I post is uh, put on like a schedule or a timer the night before. That's just what works for me. I would really love if I could get like a week ahead of posting. That way I wouldn't have to worry about like a video you know, skipping a day, but I don't know when that's going to happen. Maybe when my husband has off or something like that, but back to the hair. So my hair is pretty long. I should probably get it cut, but it's just never been this long. So I'm having a hard time with uh, allowing anybody to cut it. But if anyone is going to, it's going to be my hairdresser. She's amazing. So what I do is brush it out. I just slept on it like semi dry and this is what it looks like. Um, most of my curl is underneath uh, where it's not so damaged. So from there, let me grab it. I do a heat protectant. Did you hear that? I do heat protectant and it's this little thing. It's probably terrible. And I do the smallest little that, that's it. That's all you need. And then I just rub it in both my hands and I really only put it, I focus it on the ends because that's really the only part I'm curling. I only take my curl to here. That's just what works for me. And this also kind of smooths it down a little bit. It smells good postpartum hair, humbling, but actually coming in. This doesn't happen for everyone. Whenever I post that, people are afraid to have babies. Having a baby is beautiful and the vanity of it, you know, can think what you want, but you're never gonna truly get back to your real self. You may, you'll, you're probably gonna get back to your better self because honestly, being a mother is such a beautiful journey. So enough with the chat. Okay. I always do the curls in the same direction. If you want like a beachy wave, everyone says to do your curls in a different direction every time, but I get like that much thickness and I always start in the bangs area and I go under and then I loop. So I'm not going away from my face. I know a lot of people go away from their face. It just doesn't work with my face shape. I always part here. I look silly when I part in the middle because I have a gigantic head full of random topics about gardening and the moon phases and fun things like that. But anyways, um, that's all I do. I count to like 15 or 20 because I like it loose. And then with these curls, I, I don't brush them out for a very long time, probably like three days. And then on day three, I will brush them out. But let's see what we got here. I try and catch it in my hand. If I don't catch it, then I don't catch it. It's not too hot. At least I don't feel it. Maybe that's years in the art room or being a mom, but I leave it like that. And then once it cools, it kind of just like droops down. It doesn't look like this all the time. We're not doing anything crazy today. So it's okay if I look a little Cindy Lou Who or Shirley Temple, who am I going for here? But like, see that? That's probably too much. So, and I go, and I try and pick up a piece from the bottom and the top. And my hairdresser, kind of taught me these curls and probably butchering the way that she does it. She does it really well, but there it is. So when I wash my hair, I wash my hair once a week and I usually do like a purple shampoo on the bottom of my hair. I don't do it on the top. And then I do the wellness companies like moisture, coconutty. I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but I'll link it if you need it. Uh, I do that and then um, I just do a deep conditioning mask, whatever I have on hand. Sometimes I make my own, sometimes I don't, honestly. I don't make a lot of my botanicals, but if I do, it will last me quite a long time. So again, I just go through here, I try and do this like before I do the dishes or before I do the laundry. So my hands will be busy and I won't be messing with it uh, after I'm doing it. And then I just spray it with a uh, leave-in, what am I trying to say? Like a leave-in, no, a dry shampoo, dry shampoo from the wellness company. You don't have to do that, but that helps. And that's how I make my curls last like over a week. So if you can swing it, I suggest doing it. I know there's a trend right now, like using um, Pantene products and how it makes your hair 
really beautiful and i just i don't want to go back to it because i've worked so hard on my hair and i'm sure your hair looks beautiful if you use pantene but the trend that i'm seeing now is that they wash every day and i just in the season of life that i'm in i just don't think that would work for me but it works for some people so i'm going to let the music play and put this on a quick thing go around my whole head here and then i will catch up with you in a second Playing trances, going all to different places, different planets. Got your aura past me by losing balance. What if we were out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life, you like the drive, get down and dirty, act like the bad guy. Next up, I have Happy Juice, and I was doing it on Instagram stories and totally forgot to do it here, but I take half of each packet and then I save the other half for the next day, and that's like a really great way to save money. That that literally is the cheapest way to do it, and um, if you're not taking probiotics, you should be because you know your sauerkraut and yogurt won't cut it. Um, it does have multiple strains, but what I'm saying is you can't nowadays get all that nutrition from food unfortunately i'm a firm believer in it but this also takes care of a lot of the other vitamins i was taking so i cut all of them out and just do happy juice and the vitamins that i show you and some people look at that and think like that's a ton but um it's <laughs> it's not in comparison to what i was taking so i just messed up and poured that whole edge in there dang it <laughs> I'm talking so I'm only gonna pour half of the energy in there we go and then half of the mentobiotics shake it up put some lemon juice in it and I'm gonna drink that within 30 minutes and then I will come back when I do my second mood plus and uh, have my second half of the happy juice with that if that makes sense I know I've been cut off but I'm doing my makeup and then I'll see you soon Yum. So I'm going to go put my face on and have a sip of this. I'm actually sending out a few gifts today. So if you uh, are a happy juicer like myself, expect something coming your way. It's just a little personal gift. I love doing things like that. And I finally have a reason to, I don't know if that makes sense. I'm not a reason to, but before I didn't want to just like randomly send people things. So I'm excited. Uh, look out for it if you haven't gotten it already. Okay, so I'm going to do my makeup quick, but uh, I wanted to chat with you, and this is the easiest way to do it. So I'm just using that Say Bella makeup from the Wellness Company and uh, just brightening up a little bit. So we don't have a lot to do today, but I do want to get out of the house. It's on the chilly side, which is nice. So we could stop at a PARK, but honestly, we could really use to stay home today. So I think we just might run an errand or two and then get back here. Look at that. It really is great for the under eye baggies. I usually get it more on this side, but I think it's just an incredibly full coverage, little on the pricier side, but clean makeup, which is very important and it's buildable. So if I wanted to, I could go over top of it I've been liking it. I'm a little nervous because I get pretty tan um, with my complexion. So I'm not nervous about that, but I'm nervous because I just bought this one and I don't want to buy any uh, new ones. So I'm just going to go one more there. Mm, and I think we're good. I think we're good. I totally have in the summertime more of those 11s just because I'm always squinting or making the mom face. I know some of you know what I'm talking about, but okay. And then brows, super easy. I just brush up. I'm using the e.l.f. pencil. I could really stand to have more. So I do have to put in a few Amazon. Um, oh man, I may have ran out. Um, I did, shoot. Okay, so when I run out of my brow pencil, I don't freak out, but I have this e.l.f. 
uh, it's like a wow brow, I think is what they call it. And then I just use some of my bronzer and a brush. And that's how I color them in because they're pretty sparse. They've always been sparse. So I've always colored them in. Oh, I have some left. Okay, good. Always colored them in. No shame in makeup. I absolutely love wearing makeup. I know some of you don't. I know some of you think it's a vanity thing, but I like it. I feel like I've really toned it down in the past couple of years too to just a few staples. And I try and keep it clean as much as I possibly can, but sometimes it's just cheaper for me to buy like this wow brow, probably not the best for you. And e.l.f. as a company is not like my fave, but whatever, they don't test on animals and that's a big one for me. So I still love the animals, but good to go. And now I'm gonna do some uh, shadow, but I just use my bronzer. I use my bronzer for a lot. I use it to contour, use it to brighten up a little bit, and then I use it as just my shadow. And yes, I still pull at my lashes. You're not supposed to do that because apparently you're gonna get wrinkles, but I'm okay with wrinkles. I don't have too many yet, but I'm okay with them for now. We'll see. We'll see. I'm okay with aging because I still feel uh, young and I still feel a little immature. I don't mean to be, but man, it's hard to grow up sometimes. Then I go under here. I go up it, up it. And don't you worry, I take away a lot too because that looks a little scary right now. And then I go up and around. Sometimes I go down too far and I look dirty, but that's okay up on here and underneath and then we take away a lot so hold on okay so we're good for the day and this lighting i'm not i'll just just hold on there we go so a little bronzer than i normally go but i am going to put on a sweatshirt and some comfy leggings and we're going to get on with our day i did order a bunch of my hay Hey dude, no, not hey dude. Oh, I hey nuts, hey nuts leggings. I am obsessed with them. They're kind of like Lululemon dupes. I've never had Lululemon. Um, I've stated before, but apparently it's a good dupe for it. So I grabbed a bunch of those when they were on sale. They were like $18 and normally they're 30 and I will link them below. They're literally the best legging ever. If you're a legging girl, I'm a total legging girl. I have not changed my style since high school. I used to wear leggings, a tank top and a flannel, but now I wear leggings, tank top, and a sweater. So uh, my husband has playfully made fun of me our entire relationship. Like when we first started dating, we, we went to a mall because they still existed. And uh, we went past like the elderly person section. He's like, look, there's your section. So <laughs> I'm okay with it. I fully embrace it. I'm comfortable in the sweater and I'm comfortable in flowy clothing. And I've been really trying to just like embrace that confidence because it can be really elegant and beautiful and feminine and not so um, frumpy, I think is the word, but it's it's tricky because I can only do what I can with the amount of sweaters that I have because they do take up a lot of room. So the goal for the move is to consolidate the sweaters and I don't want to. Um, and I do thrift a lot of mine. I've gotten some questions. I thrift a lot of my sweaters and a lot of them were my mom's. So I, I have a lot of her clothing from you know the 90s and early 2000s as well. So I'm going to get myself dressed and then we are gonna head on, head on out with our day.
trust is not supposed to let us know how to go. So I'm super excited we got this done. Now onto the door. So I'm just going to have to like power sand that off and then paint it gray like the rest of the doors that we decided to paint. But in the meantime, I am trying to, I flip my kitchen, just start making all of my husband's snacks and things from scratch. So we have this ice cream maker that attaches to the KitchenAid and that's what we're making. So we have four egg yolks in there and about, I'd say a half a cup of sugar, but Really, it depends. I mean, I feel like ice cream can be really tricky, especially when it's homemade. So I'm going to mix that together. And then I have about three cups of heavy cream uh, from the local dairy here. And that's just heating up a little bit. And then you pour a little bit at a time to it. And then looking back here, I needed to chill this for like eight hours, but I only chilled it for two. So this didn't work out. I just put it in the freezer overnight and then we will churn it again tomorrow. I added some salt to it, a little bit of vanilla, and then we are going to add cookies to it oreo specifically because my husband likes cookies and cream so i know that kind of defeats the purpose maybe someday i will make my own oreos but we are just trying to swap out everything he loves i will say the kids love cooking with me but they were not too interested until this part came up so they were excited to see the churning but the next thing on the list was to replicate cheese it's buffalo cheese it specifically so all i did was put some hunks of cheddar cheese in my I, no, not immersion blender, like my chopper, I don't know, food processor. And then I put like a half a cup of flour in there. But looking back, I feel like I could make these gluten gluten free pretty easily. Uh, and then I did everything but the bagel seasoning, a little bit of grass fed butter, and I just rolled it out like a dough and then cut it into these little shapes and baked it at 375 for around 15 minutes and they are delicious very hard not to eat them all and then of course we made chocolate chip cookies my husband loves them some got a little burnt but that's okay we we are trying to do our best here in the kitchen and we were busy today man i am exhausted now thinking and looking back so i am going to get this ice cream back into the freezer cut that cantaloupe and then move on to dinner which is super easy tonight all i'm doing is this bison sauce potatoes, sweet potato, onion, grass-fed butter, green beans, and then I just put it in the oven at 400 for however long I feel like it, and then we serve it with A1. My husband loves it with A1, but this is a super simple staple that we always put in when we're just kind of running behind or running short on time. It takes like 20 minutes. My toxic trait is thinking that sour cream goes with everything, but you know, it's potatoes, sour cream, better than cheese right now. I don't know having a second happy juice here. This is just the energy and the edge just to get me through bedtime here. We are in beautiful sky season. I feel like Colorado always has it, but these are epic. That one kind of has an orange hue. Yeah, mommy doesn't hear any sirens, so. Man, I was kind of hoping it would uh, water the garden for me tonight <laughs> so I don't get bit up by mosquitoes, but wow. Super pretty over here too. Man, we're surrounded by some beauty. Shoo. Dang. Coming towards us a little bit. I thought there was a tornado. A tornado. I thought 